Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Falter Rock channel again. Um, my name is Kyle, and as you can tell, or if you can probably tell by the description and the name of the episode, it's just me today. That's right. Um, we haven't really had the time recently because, as I think I said in the last Persona 4 episode that I recorded with Riggs, I had exams. We just finished those exams, me and Nathan. We're finally done, and we are beginning our sem break soon so we have some cool stuff coming up for that so look forward to that and uh as well as that uh if you can tell from our new logo and new banner we're we redesigned a few things as you can tell um the content as of now we don't have any plans to change it except for maybe some a few new things but other than that i don't think there's anything drastically going to be different so, uh, if in terms of changes I think it's gonna be gradual as we go along so yeah but yeah welcome to Pokemon Ranger Guardian Signs this is I think I mentioned it in one of the episodes of the podcast but this is probably um, my favorite Pokemon spin-off that I've ever played and I've played Mystery Dungeon I've played uh, Conquest I haven't finished those yet but uh, so far, this has been my favorite. So, yeah. I'm going to just skip to the story because this is going to be more of a talking episode, kind of like Persona. But um, because the story of this game isn't all that important. Well, it's a big part of the game, but it's not that great. So I never really, <laughs> I never really paid attention to it. So we're just going to we're just going to. B blaze through the story let's do this so i'm a pokemon ranger i can name my character since i chose the girl the girl's name is summer the guy's name is ben but since i chose the girl i can choose her name in this context but the dude's name stays as ben do you really think you get away you just don't know when to give up so yeah they're chasing latias yeah they're chasing latias and i i, I noticed this wh when i played pokemon oras a long time ago actually i think it's been like two three years something 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 along those lines but um, I, remem I remember when uh, you finish the game, you get this thing called the Eon Flute. And the Eon Flute can summon either Latios or Latias to help you fly through battle. And yeah, yeah, yes, 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 I know. There, that was easy. But um, the, it, summon it summons a Latios or Latias to help you fly through th the map, basically. And it looks really dope. And I remember loving, loving flying, just flying around in the whole, the whole Hoenn region. That was so much fun. I remember finding mysterious islands or hidden islands and everything. That was a lot of fun. But I forgot that this game did the whole Latios, Latias flying too. Um, I think you can do it just on a regular Star Raptor and everything. But later on in the game, I don't know if that's a spoiler. Does it really matter if it's a spoiler? But um, later on in the game, you get to control a bunch of legendary Pokemon. I think, if I remember correctly, you can you can do the th three wild beasts, the three legendary beasts, uh, Raikou, Suicune, and Entei. And you can also uh, get Latios and, Lat uh, Latios and Latias, as well as Ho-Oh and Lugia, I think. But man, I, I I don't know why I loved this game so much as a kid. It was so dope. I don't know why. Wait a second. Let's make this a fair fight. Here's Ben, coming to save me. But he's kind of useless. Um, he doesn't really do much. Well, I think he does more later, but for now he doesn't do much because he kind of disappears. <laughs> it's their team leader, Red Eyes. Blue Eyes, the the girl, is off somewhere. I can't remember what her importance in the story is. Man, it's been so long since I played this. Um, maybe I should have done a refresher because <laughs> I don't remember anything uh, anything about this game. But we'll... Uh, uh, I don't remember any of like the major story details. Oh, yes, I remember. I remember that I fall. I get my my Styler Nav. I don't know why it's called a Styler actually. Now that I realize it, is it because Stylus and Styler sounds cooler? I have no idea. Somebody explain that to me in the comments. But yes, this is Pokemon Ranger Guardian Signs. I always sound when I talk like I have ADHD, but I swear I don't. <laughs> There you go, me falling. Oh, maybe maybe the out maybe the layout of the screen isn't great for this. But yes, we've fallen into the ocean. Oh no, this is this part. Capture Stylers, come off, urgent. 
Reattach to capture Styler. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we have to go chase it. And to chase it, there's a little... We have to chase that man... man mantine? Mantine? I think that's what it's called. Can't remember. I was going to say Manaphy, but that's not right. Please hold your Nintendo DS. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I'm playing this on a legit machine. I mean, totally. <laughs> Obviously. <coughs> Alright, let's do this to start. So, we just have to... And then wait, and then double tap. Yep, this game is pretty easy, actually. Uh, all things considered. There's a Deox... Or, no, there's an Arceus fight. Where you get to capture Arceus, I think, later on in the game. And that even even that one's pretty easy. It's just dodge some stuff, uh, send out some of your support Pokemon, and voila, you got them. And this is a cool little thing they do. They set up Chekhov's gun in the beginning of the game. This part where my Styler landed, that's where we find Ho-Oh in the later part. In the I don't know, even remember if that's the end of the game. Massive object approaching. It's the Pokey Snatcher people. I forget their name. Goodness, I'm horrible with name remembering. The current is. Oh my goodness. So how are you guys? Um. Oh, did you see that? There, there was a person in the window. I don't remember who that is, but I remember, I remember them being one of the people you meet later. But uh, yeah, how are you guys? So far, quarantine is going a lot longer than I had anticipated. It's been seven months since it started. Um, what has happened in that span of time? Well, online classes started. I found that online classes are no better than regular classes. And I don't know if it's just me. You, you guys tell me. You guys tell me in the comments. But for whatever reason, I find online classes just as, if not harder than regular classes because I'm the kind of person who can't really learn things just by being given instructions just that uh, like if somebody tells me hey do this um, here the here's how to do it now do it then I'd be really bad at it like I need someone to walk me through the process that, that probably makes me a slow learner I'm definitely a slow learner but um, yeah that's 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 generally how maybe I've gotten used to learning I mean, it's certainly not impossible for me to change the way I learn, but that's currently how <laughs> my style of learning, but, um, yeah. Oh my goodness, they're catching all the Pichu! I forgot what they're called. Like, Poke... Nat... Snatchers? Nat... Na uh, uh, I don't know what they're called. They'll, they'll say it later, but don't worry, I'll ignore it, so I'll never know what these guys are called. But... Yeah, online classes have been... Kind of not what I expected to say the least. No! Poor Pichu. The Meryl got saved and now he's gonna get caught. <gasps> it's an Ursaring! Poor Ursaring. <gasps> oh, right! The Pokemon DLC Part 2 came out the other day. Um, Riggs was telling me about it because he, he bought the, the pack. He's already bought both of them both the Crown Tundra and the other one. And he was saying how. Um, he was saying how he enjoyed the Crown Tundra more because he it wasn't as story focused. I, I wouldn't know. I haven't played any of the new DLC. Not even the the one before the recent one. <laughs> I have no idea what those ones are about. It's not that I've been trying to keep away from spoilers. It's just that... I don't know, man. I don't really care. Because, <laughs> I mean, I've got... I have a backlog of, of things to do. Of... Uh, I, I have... I have a backlog of Pokemon games to finish even because I've never uh, I think I've said this before as well but I've never ever finished a DS a mainline DS Pokemon game so black black and white black and white 2 platinum diamond and pearl I've never finished those and I've always wanted to because uh, Nathan he's a big fan of all of them and I and er with everyone clamoring for a remake I want to play the originals before you know even if they do or don't get remaked, I, remade, I want to play the originals before the chance of <laughs> the chance of it happening. That sounds really bad, but yeah, I I just want to play them before before that happens. Anyways, what's happening? All right, Hastings is the old man character who is our boss, 
and he tells us to go places. Murph is is the bumbling idiot sidekick. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that. He's um he stumbles into a lot of bad situations later on, but he's overall pretty useful, I think, because I can't really remember. I wonder if this layout is okay. Is this layout okay for you guys? The small top screen, because a lot of the action mainly happens on the bottom screen, so I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. Oh, you know what I think might be the reason I enjoyed this game so much? Was because it was so similar. Well, not so similar, but it was similar in control style to The World Ends With You on the DS. And um, uh, my uncle who had the game, he lent it to us on the DS when we had a real DS all those years ago. And I remember enjoying that game so much. It was like, it was uh, The World Ends With You, Sonic Rush, and um, what was it? There was one more. Uh, also, I think it was Sonic Rush Adventure or something like that because I remember there being a jet ski portion. Ooh, what should our name be? S uh, our name, um, let's make our name, uh, let's make our name, man, I'm so bad with names. Oh, let's make let's make us cool. Our name will be Kathy. <laughs> oh no, wait. There, cat, cat, Where's the H? There you go. Can looks like Kahi, but I think it's an at. Is that an at? That's an at, right? That's an at, right? Whatever. It works. Kathy. Our name is Kathy. Kathy, correct? Your name has been verified. Recovery is almost complete. If you want to use styler functions, please touch the styler menu in the lower right corner of your screen. For more information, please refer to the glossary in the something system. So yes, our styler is not fully functioning, so we have to find somebody to fix it. We find the daughter of the... What is it? The daughter of the local ranger here and she fixes our styler and I remember her being pre pretty pretty funny because I can't remember but anyways we'll discover we'll discover most of the game together I just remember the first part of the game being a slog because you do a lot of side quests well they're optional side quests but you know being being an RPG dude I have to finish all the all the side quests all right let's do this um, you can see in the upper left where the top screen is. That is... Ugh. <laughs> There's so much dialogue in this game. It's a Pokemon game. <laughs> maybe this is what Riggs was talking about. This is what, maybe this is why he enjoyed Crown Tundra. Because there's not as much story stuff. This game is so much story stuff. No, I don't care about... That. I just... Why would I need a tutorial? I just caught the Pidgey a while ago. It's like... Leave me alone. Alright, let's see if we can do get an S. No! I was so close! The stupid Pichu hit me once! I got an A! No! This is f fake. So this is Ukulele Pichu. Ends up being my um, companion later on in the game. Alright, so that's the difference between Pokemon Trainers and Pokemon Rangers. They, uh, as opposed to catching them in balls, they use their stylers to convey their emotions. Which is kind of confusing because in Emerald, and I think Red as well, there were Pokemon Rangers with Pokemon. So I don't know what was up with that. But I'm pretty sure they retconned something <laughs> along the way. But I mean, th the story of Pokemon's never been all that important. Um, I've also, the all, another reason I also want to play Black and White. Uh, finish those is because I've heard that they have the best story in the um, in the Pokemon franchise in the Pokemon series. So I wanna I wanna experience that. I've heard that like the DS games in general actually have the best stories of all the all the ones that have ever been released. I just realized that this island is in the shape of an E. I came up with a nickname Ukulele Pikachu. How creative, Mr. Booker. Uh, Booker is the old guy makes boats and things yeah he's not he's not all too important uh he loses a bunch of things a lot and his assistant is annoying 
So that's all I remember. You see a UFO, and I was rolling along the beach around by the side. Yep, I was worried about. Yep, yep, yep. He was worried about Pokemon and things. Uh, yeah, were they aliens? Aliens. Da, 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 da. That that song that Mafu Mafu covered. I don't remember who the original. I think it was a Vocaloid. Yeah, I think it's a Vocaloid song. Originally. Hang on, I'll just fix the mic. Give me a second. Hello. Mic check. Hello. Mic check. I think, is that better? Does, is that be I honestly can't tell. I can't hear myself. <laughs> I can't hear myself through the mic. So, we'll just have to guess that it sounds better. It says, there's your friends. Have you guys... Oh, there's a Mary, or Mary, recharge your styler, but I don't really need one right now. There's a Bulbasaur, I need you to cut the log that's up ahead. And then... See? That was so, so much better than the Pichu catch. Is it an S? Give me an S. An A? That should have been an S. Totally should have been an S. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. <laughs> Great, this is, you know what, I'll be entirely honest guys, I'm not, I'm not entirely comfortable, Th this is one of the reasons we didn't really upload for the longest time, because Nathan's pretty good at um, commentating by himself, like he can come up with a good number of things to talk about, and he's knowledgeable enough about the, the games that he's playing, that he can confidently talk about them, but I'm not analytical enough, oh no, I turned off, st no, what have I done, I put my throat, I, I, Ah, uh, <laughs> but uh, he's analytical enough to know to confidently talk about the games that he's playing. But I am not. <laughs> I don't know any game enough to be able to confidently talk about the whole system and everything. Like I can throw out either assumptions or just general knowledge, but I don't think I'd be able to give an analysis on a game. That's also why uh, shout out to Riggs's channel. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Mujisoft. Shout out to Riggs' channel, Mujisoft. A couple of weeks ago, or maybe a month ago, I can't remember, he posted a video of an analysis of Persona 2's characters, and I thought it was so interesting. Like, n no joke, I've always wanted to make an analysis video like Daryl Talks Games, Game Maker's Toolkit, um, uh, Scruffy, those kinds of videos, but like, I don't know <laughs> how to write. Uh, an an an, anal an analytical essay on anything, uh, on like video games. Like I can write about maybe business because that's my course. But uh, yeah, no, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I'm not entirely great at analyzing things. That's why whenever I recommend something, or at least now, uh, or at least I'll try my best to remember. To when recommending somebody something, to always take it with a grain of salt because I'm a very, I'm an over, I think Riggs will tell you this, but I'm an overly emotional person, <laughs> for better or for worse, and I I tend to when I'm recommending things, I tend to not mention that I'm severely biased towards whatever I'm recommending. So a lot of the time, people will be disappointed. It's like, Kyle, you said this was the best show ever. I'm like. Well, for me, it was. I like really enjoyed it. Uh, I got. I, I mean, I guess it's the same for anybody. Nobody's gonna have a universally loved recommendation. But I think it dub. Uh, it goes double for me because um, I tend to recommend a lot of things <laughs> on the channel, and um, I kind. I'm kind of worried that somebody go. It wasn't that great, but um, so yeah. Every time I recommend something, I always take it with a grain of salt. Uh, I'm I'm all I'm generally always blinded by nostalgia, and my personal interests. So, yes, <laughs> at least now you know. <laughs> um, right, right, right. So the reason we caught that Ursa ring is I I was pre I preemptively caught the Ursa ring so we can knock that boat down, cause we could have caught the little Teddy Ursa, but they're on they only have push or rock smash or whatever it's called, level one. This Ursa Ring has, it, has level 2. So we needed the level 2 push thing to push this thing. To, oh, whoops. No. And grab the... Stop! Booker, I don't care. 
Yes, clear the target. Thank you, Ursaring. But, um, what was I saying? Uh, can't remember, but, uh, there, I just finished, uh, r I finished reading the Violet Evergarden Light novel, uh, volume one and volume two. I'm yet to read Gaiden. I plan on reading that, but, um, my goodness, I had so, I had such a good time reading those books. Uh, Akatsuki Kana is, is now, is now one of my favorite uh, writers. <laughs> That's so hyperbolic, but it's so true for me. Oh my goodness, I'll be so sad if people read it. It's like, Kyle, you overhyped this for me. It's like, I'm so sorry. That's how I felt with, um, what is it? Anohana. I remember a lot of my friends recommended it to me and said, this is the best show ever. You will not regret watching it. And in their defense, I really, really enjoyed watching it. But uh, for somebody who cries at everything, I wasn't able to cry at it because I, I, I already had like a preconceived notion of what the show was going to be. And uh, it didn't really hit what people were telling me about it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing, but that's what happened. So I still thoroughly enjoyed it, but you know, don't overhype things, people. Or at least if you do, put a little disclaimer that um, I'm blinded by emotion. <laughs> but uh, I also kind of worried because uh, no, uh, no, uh, uh, no hate towards Nathan, but every time Nathan recommends something, he's like me actually, now that I realize it. Nathan's a lot like me. When he recommends something, he really tries to sell it. Like he was trying to get me to watch or to finish, uh, what was it? The, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh no, what's it called? Hang on. Let me research. What is it called? Uh, what what are you called? It is a. Mm, mm, give me a second. Give me a second. I will find it. I will find it. I swear. Uh, uh, um. Why can't I remember its name? <laughs> I was just. Oh my goodness. Wait. What's it called? No, I can't remember what it's called. Uh. There, um, the my teen, uh, my teen romantic comedy snafu, or just snafu for short. Nathan was trying to get me to watch it. And he, he was like, Kyle, this is the best rom-com in existence. Um, and me being the dirty rom-com, anime rom-com lover, I was like, yeah, maybe I won't watch it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, if somebody tells me that this is the best thing ever, and I have, I already have in my mind the best thing ever, I won't really want to watch it, you know? I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying, but, um, it, 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 it feels like that. I don't know how to explain it properly. But yes, that's that's how I felt. May, may, I, I want to watch Snafu. I definitely want to. I don't know when it'll happen. I'm sure it's bound to happen. Just not, just not now. Definitely not now. Let's go to Booker's house. Meet his annoying assistant. Let's do this. <gasps> it's the Pokemon Pinchers. See, I remembered their names. That's, that's what I said I'd do, right? No, Pichu. Why are you doing this? <sighs> yeah. Welcome home, boss. Who is this person with you? Oh no, could it be? Disillusioned of being a ranger, this person come to ask to be your new apprentice, then moved by those words you decided to take them in. If that's the case, I'm no longer needed, so let's pack your bags and hit the road, right? Boss, how could you do that to me? Kathy isn't doing any such thing. Yeah, I'll just give... <laughs> I don't know why I'm reading, it doesn't really matter. Really, the only parts that are important in this game is catching legendaries, or, um... What's the word? Befriending legendaries? <laughs> I don't know. But um, the first legendary befriend is Good Boy. Who was it? Shh, quiet Zelda. The first, the first guy you befriend is Good Boy Raiko, and Raiko is relatively—he's not that difficult. 
but he's pretty tedious. <laughs> even uh, even when he goes in into enrage every single time. But uh, yes, we'll see how that goes. You're not alone. Thank you. Zelda, shut up. Where's Ukulele Pichu? We've got big trouble! Oh yeah, Ukulele Pichu ran away. Whoops! Forgot to tell you that, bro. Really where they head in. Oh, what did I do? Oh, what is that? Whoa, that's a... There's a filter thing you can press on the Wii U. I mean, the real DS. I mean... Is, does it look better like this or like that? I, th I find it look it looks better like this without the anti-aliasing. The anchalizing. Yeah, I'll just keep it without the anchalizing. And then, and then, Nick, knock off the pointless daydreams, blah, 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 blah. Yup, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. Yes, I will do that. I'll come too, I'm worried about Arlie. He's big and strong, but I was surprised when I heard how old he was. He's really old. He is really old. Can't deny that. Protect Arlie who went to investigate Teakwood Forest from the Pokemon Pinchers. I will do that. Mission! Uh, drive Pinchers out of the woods. Teakwood Forest is west of Corona Village. <gasps> Corona Village? Oh no. Oh no, it's Kokona Village. <laughs> I obviously can't read. I heard about Arlie. Can you go check on him? I will do that. Thank you. I will do that next episode. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me this episode. We, um, what did we do actually? We didn't do much, but I talked about some things. Uh, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to be getting Arlie and making sure Pichu doesn't die. So if you want to make sure Pichu doesn't die, be sure to tune in next episode. See you guys.